to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to install the TARDIS plugin textures for a server that I play on uh, called Unknowncraft. Basically they use the TARDIS plugin. You can get the textures for the TARDIS and like the equipment in there like Sonic Screwdriver and uh, other cool things. So I'll be showing you how to do it. Firstly you want to go to this website here and it will be linked uh, first link in the description. Uh, and you want to scroll down to here and go down to where it says textures with companion resource pack and it requires MC Patcher which I'll show you how to install in a second but uh, yeah you go to this link here so you click download and it should send it to your downloads folder so drag it onto your desktop and then that is the first step done second step you want to do is go to minecraftforum.net uh, this will be like the second link in the description just click that and it will take you to this page you want to scroll down and go to download here and then you just wait for this countdown and then there you go once it's downloaded I don't. Uh, I won't download any of this because I've already got it. Honestly, right here. But yeah, once you've downloaded it, it should create an icon here. If it's in your downloads again, drag it to your desktop. So it just makes it easier. So the next step you want to do is locate your Minecraft uh, folder. I have it in Documents, and then I have a shortcut for it, so I can get to it quicker. Uh, and what you want to do is go to your resource resource pack folder. I'll be showing you how to uh, install sounds for this plugin uh, in another video. But uh, here, here we go. You drag it in. And boom, that is, that's all we have to do for that. And then just cross that off. And there you go, you've you've put it into the folder. So yeah, so that's the hard bit done. And now all we need to do is uh, patch it with using MC Patcher. So what you want to do now is open MC Patcher, and you should get something like this. Just let it, uh, you know, locate all your files and stuff. It'll just take a few moments. As, as you see along the top, you see uh, it will create this profile called MC Patcher when it's patched and you choose your game version that you that the server is running currently uh unknown craft is running server 1.8 so you can have any 1.8 update that is here you can have that uh obviously 1.7 wouldn't work with unknown craft but yeah you know, that could be your server you could have your server on 1.7 so you choose 1.7 and we'll just uh choose all the settings again because you know different blocks removing blocks and stuff there you go uh, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to do 1.8, uh, specifically 1.8.8, because that's the most recent one to this date. So here we go. And literally all you want to do with this is just hit patch. And it will patch away, and it will create a new profile on Minecraft on your Minecraft launcher called MC Patcher. So loading into the Minecraft launcher, you'll see here, you should now have a profile called MC Patcher. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah it's... Uh, yeah, it should just be called MC Patcher. I have all these accounts, obviously, because of doing other things. But uh, yeah, MC Patcher. So you got your whatever update you chose here, and then MC Patcher next to it. You click play, and here we are in game. So now all that's left to do is literally just go to options, resource pack, and then for, uh, you should see a a icon here saying Tardis MCP Master. So you bring that over there, and that should be done. There we go. So now to test that, to see if it's working, we'll go to, just go to unknown craft. So now, if I come here, uh, my Talus is here. As you can see, the textures have installed. So we now have the textures on. Which look pretty good, it makes it look, you know, realistic, you know. So you know, I'll show you what it looks like without the textures. It doesn't look as good. And here's what it looks like without the textures. See, it's a big difference. So you have like, bog standard Minecraft vanilla. And here as well. And then when you put the textures on, it just looks ten times better. And it's good for roleplay. And there you go, that's 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 how you do it. So if you like this tutorial, uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll soon make a tutorial on how to install the sounds, custom sounds for this plugin. So it can make your experience on this server slash plugin, you know, more authentic and realistic. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed and roll the outro.